Welcome to Everything Currency. This is a show where we talk about everything crypto and mo. I'm your host Jay and today I want to update you guys on the $1 a day Bitcoin challenge that I'm doing up until 100 days after the halving and that date is August 19th. So we're going to see if the rumors are true 100 days after the halving. Are we going to be starting our bull run? The charts are looking pretty bullish already. I'm going to show you guys the Bitcoin you usdc chart on binance um if you don't know how to sign up for binance then you probably shouldn't sign up for binance if you don't know go ahead and watch my video on how to buy all coins that i made a long time ago and that shows you how you can buy some of the lower caps all coins that you can't find on coinbase gemini and some of the other exchanges also let's just get right into it on this Bitcoin thing today. So first thing I want to talk about is this article that talks about Bitcoin is bracing for one billion dollar earthquake this week. So it's saying Bitcoin's early rally has come to a halt. We can't get over 10,000. We can't get over 10.5 right now. Every single trader and their mama is talking about the 10.5 uh, Bitcoin level. So we got to see if we can ever make it past that. But when I pull up the chart, what's interesting to me is um, I like to use these moving averages of the 50, the 34 and the 300 and the 200. So right now we're just going to look at the, the 200 and the 13. So one thing you notice about this chart is when the blue line, which is the 13 interacts with the yellow line, which is the 200 and we're on the six hour chart. And, and this happens on multiple time frames. You can see that when these lines cross, we're talking major upside or major downside. So let's just go back, you know, let's just go back to February and put this on a log chart so we can see. And you'll see right here when we crossed on February, what is this? The, the um, 17th, every since then, when this 13 crossed the 200, it's been upside, upside, upside. It went under, kind of tested it, came back up and it's been upside. Riding along it for a while. And you can see that when it crossed under, you see downside when it goes up you see upside so usually when you can see these are not small 42 percent check this one cross right here you know 27 percent check this one this one was crazy that one was you know even before the whole crash of the corona thing you can see that this moving average kind of called it before so once we hit back above it once it crossed again you can see from here it's been 40 something percent and then we've been slowly accumulating for um we've been slowly accumulating for 67 days since and it's been a 42 percent gain now what strikes me interesting about this is you can see that we barely went under it and we're crossing above it again so i'm hoping that that gives us some momentum to cross these lines that we can't get above that we've been trying to get above for a long time um some of these long-term trend lines that we can't get above hopefully this gives us some momentum and a boost to get above this is a six hour chart if you go to the daily chart that's where we are you can see right here even on the daily charts more crazy crazily obvious that this 13 when it reacts with this 200 um, gives you a good picture of like an overall macro way to look at the whole market yeah so Let's just get into this purchase that I was doing for this Bitcoin challenge. Here's a spreadsheet. Today we bought $23 because we didn't buy any for a while. So we bought $23 today at the price of 
the last time we bought the price was 96.01 so you can see the price is still ranging in between this range of about 8,000 to 11,000 since we started this whole thing back in August um, which is very cool very interesting and right now we're still up 6%, 6 percent 6.4 percent a little uh, down a little bit since the last time but nevertheless we're still up because we only spent three hundred and twenty three dollars and we have three hundred and fifty five dollars in Bitcoin right now so August 19th we're gonna see what this pot's looking like hopefully some of these things give us momentum and we can go from there the fear and greed index right now we're looking neutral a little bit more on the greed side than the fear side hopefully um, we start moving back into the fear side because then that means the price is going to pump. So I like when we get to the fear side, that's when I want to start buying. And hopefully that doesn't last soon. Once we're in the bull market, all these little technical things that we've been using in the bear market kind of don't come into play as much. Um, right now, everybody's hyped. A lot of people are excited. A lot of people are bullish. So keep your stop losses in place. Beware. That's that's a time where you got to look and see where we've been right now. We're up, like I said, 67 in the last 67 days. We're up 42 percent on Bitcoin. Might want to take some profit off the table. This is not financial advice, but when everybody's getting this bullish, I have to say I start to feel like mm, we might be looking like we're going to that 8600 level because everybody is a little bit way too bullish at the moment but i'm always bullish because in the long run we all know price is gonna go up so like subscribe turn on post notifications oh also download the brave browser these ads keep on coming in since yesterday i'll update you guys every time since yesterday we still oh yeah it only um send you your coins like once a month so whenever i get an update of how many coins we got this month i'll let you guys know how much we're making with using the brave browser if you just want to see it before you try it out i'll be the guinea pig let you guys know so far it's running smooth it's running great supposedly it's saving me time whatever i like that also subscribe we're still doing the giveaway for the ledger nano s um when i hit 300 we're moving great building this community let's get this money together until next time peace <laughs>